Hi, my energy squad. Big H here again. First and foremost, I want to thank each and every one of you for being with us on this journey from week one to week ten, from spotting money Sandy to now pushing for only one money to become the winner of Big Brother Ninja season nine. You guys all know that, like growing up. We had no uncle or auntie or anybody to talk to or call for help. But now, having you guys, the energy squad behind us, I feel so empowered. I feel so happy to have you guys behind Wani and I. You guys don't know how much you mean to us. I know you might think it's been just a short while, just one to ten weeks, but it means the world to know that you guys are standing solidly behind Wani and I. And a win for Wani is a win for me and as well as you guys, our Odogu fan base, the energy squad, the fan base that don't take nonsense. You guys are amazing. And winning this is going to show other women show other men show the youth that you can work hard and make it you can do whatever you put your mind to as one and i have done all these years fighting for our stay in this life as youths as powerful women so let's do this let's bring this home for Wani, for the energy squad, Wani's win is our win, it's my win, it is your win. Let's do this guys, I love you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We all know what time it is. Yeah guys, it is time for you to go all out for your fave. Thursday will soon be over and you just have few hours let me just call it a few hours because it's not the whole of friday you have in voting so guys hope you're doing the needful because yo hey, hey wahala be like bicycle on the social streets when it comes to this voting in particular you don't even know what the who the money belongs to whether it is married or identical or whatever we don't even know what the money is looking like right now hey babies and how are you all doing hope you guys are doing fine guys while we divert into this gist i see that hot do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any gist at all so still on this voting ish i actually did tell you guys how the ex-housemates are clamoring for victoria or kelly ray to win zion has joined them too as he said another day to keep voting kelly ray guys let's help my g back that cash you know now seeing that most of the ex-housemates are actually clamoring for this um people set of people to win People on the social space started coming for them saying that why are they really not doing it for other housemates? Why is it that it's just for Kelly Ray and Victoria? Now, the thing is, if you also go to housemates who are closer to others, they would actually still do the same thing for them. Look, apart from Handy and Sean, I have not seen any housemates campaigning for Wani. Wani win is going to be a mark on you all skin. Now, that is the thing. You just said Handy and Sean. Would you see Handy and Sean campaign for Victoria or, or what's he called, or Kelly Ray? No, they would not do that because why? They are not friends. So, people actually want their friends to win. So, I don't know why that of um Ruthie, Dami, Chinwe zion seems to be so different because of they want victoria and kelly ray to win these are the people they are closer to in the house and it's very okay if you want your own person to win in it so i don't know why you make it feel like everybody all of the ex house are actually rooting for kelly ray and victoria now still talking about rooting of the thinking while uh, we've seen dj flow come out and say oh please vote um kelly ray and victoria we've come out and see chingwe say oh please vote kelly ray and victoria you know but dj flow came and gave a particular stand as she says you all know kelly is my guy for life but v has a special place in my heart so victoria for the money that was what DJ Flo said. And because of that, they've been coming for DJ Flo. So fans were like, she's not supposed to take side. That she's just supposed to drop the two of them. Since you know the two of them are your guy, you're supposed to say vote for them. Then fans will choose the people they want to vote for because each of the fans has their own favorite people they would vote for. You know, so they started dragging DJ Flo so much and DJ Flo had to come back and say, Lord, Sheona, no, no, say these people are the only ones I am rooting for. So nobody 
No, so anybody will carry the money for their two. Now win win. But as a girl's girl, I want a girl to win. And who else than my girl? Oh, yeah, no, fight me. Make una go vote for V and Kelly. You all know DJ Flo doesn't have problem. Why are you people dragging her like this? Yo, dragging her like I passed my neighbor generator. You see, she also came back to actually say, okay, fine. Just vote for the two of them. She wants a girl to win because she's a girl. And it's understandable. Why are fans like this, self? Eh? Una no, they try you. Let's read some of the reply. Matter says i thought you have sense <laughs> hey wahala i thought you have sense but now nah. why mentioning kelly ray vote victoria and kelly ray simple you can't the mumu here wahala hey yeah he broke your heart i understand vicky is loved but kelly for the money who broke dj flo's heart oh you guys are still selling that narrative that dj flo wants kelly in the house now nah, wafu now your comments no fit change anything. Secondly, it's because Vic chose to write about you. Meanwhile, guys, do you think um DJ Flo first statement about choosing Victoria than Kelly? Do you think it's actually a bad thing? Let me know what you think about that statement, okay? All right, Sir so Ago says Victoria K, the one way they they back for today's event or another one. Someone was asking how does she go to final? I said by laying on the sofa every day and smiling. After he allowed you to touch him and try to feed him chicken, your crush. Then go say now you talk and no be God. Abi, you are attracted to Victoria. Talk true. Go straight to the points. Don't beat around the corner. Now, this person who says Victoria that lay on the sofa, blah, 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 blah. Isn't it surprising? Even when you guys come for Victoria this way, yet, she she was still in the finale. She is still in the finale, not even was. And yet, you're still talking about sofa. She's a couch. She's a this. She's a furniture. Why did you not keep your faith to the finale if your faith is not a furniture like i don't really get people sometimes any which ways moving straight to kelly ray yes kelly ray is actually having a good day today in biggie's house because it's his anniversary yes of course so his eight months anniversary remember it was today today was supposed to be that day they would let the housemate know about their marriage though they already know on sunday because cassia did not make it to the 10th week you know so um today is their um, anniversary and i'm wishing them nothing but the best people on the social space are really 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 waiting so many people on the social space are really waiting for their marriage to come outside and have each to crash but i am saying it today that they are gonna go outside they're gonna blossom because they've actually been together for years and then big brother would not actually destroy what god has actually ordained and that's on period now um someone said ever since d arusi told kelly ray that he is winning he's been babazing now i want biggie to give him a customized jacket on sunday like he did to baby brie <laughs> Talking about big baby Brie, yeah. I <laughs> Guys, these fans are no nice people. I remember during the level up season, Brian got a customized suit, you know, and then already almost all of the housemates thought he has won. Even Fina, who won that season, thought Brian has won because his outfit was given winner. He was giving winner. So now this person coming to use that on Kelly Ray actually took me down memory lane. Knowing that today is even Thursday. <laughs> that is throwback Thursday. It took me down um, memory lane. It's actually a nostalgic feeling right here. The housemates were actually telling him, Hey, Brian, now wow, try see your suit. You find out, ah, this guy don't win this thing. Meanwhile, for your info, the DRC did not tell Kelly Ray anything. Kelly Ray has always been a sweet guy. He has actually been a very sweet guy, yes. Okay, still on Kelly Ray. Someone says, Wumi says, they wanted him to flirt with their loose favorite, but because he chose to respect himself and his wife, they tagged him boring. This man right here actively participated in every games done in that house. He made the house lively for you all. Favorite. Yes, this person is saying this because of the current um was it called drag on kelly ray and victoria they're actually dragging them that their couch they did nothing in the house they are not they do not deserve the money you know a smell ca the campaigning someone he actually contributed his quota period he's so sad that people watching this show would choose immorality over good character keep on saying this no matter the result this year i am done with this show nothing it teaches at all anyways that's what bb street has done to you know they think you need to be dramatic you need to be insultive so as to be like they will not call you a couch they wanted him to disgrace himself all in the names of content he said sorry to shame you that's not who i am the tears will flow more on sunday then no one rests you see the sunday in particular i literally cannot wait you call an alpha female lose i do not blame you 
it is a society that judges a well-confident and intelligent woman. You stand a pretender, a man who says the right thing every time. It is post show we will know who is loose. See him and handy. Shall I remember Kes after the show? Like I told you guys, you can read this again. Then you remember what I said when I was trying to wish them well on their anniversary. People already on the social space are waiting for Kelly Ray and Cassia to actually separate when they leave the house. Yes, they feel like he is too good to be true. See what this person said about somebody who said the right thing every time. They feel like he is too good to be true and they feel like when he leaves the show, Cassia and Kelly Ray are not going to be together. The fame is going to be in their head and they are not going to work out anymore. Now imagine, no, just you imagine people trying to wish people ill luck. Like all of the thing in this world you can do is actually to wish people ill. Why? To what essence? To what gain? Anyways, let me read this from Damaris and then I will call it a quit. They wanted him to be shouting everywhere, shaking and kissing on day two of the show and doing other nasty things. I can't even type before they see the content he is giving. Positive content is better than negativity. Of course, and I accept. I accept that one, but yeah, it is what it is. That is what the Bibi Niger um, starship has gotten people into. It has made people to actually be blind to anything um positive and then they open their ears to anything negative any which ways guys me i'm gonna be dropping my voice right here and now to leave the rest for you guys in the comment section thank you so so much for always sailing with me before i say goodbye do not forget to subscribe and make sure your notification bell is steadily on so that you'll not be sleeping on the bicycle Bye bye